Welcome to Shared Roamings. Our channel is dedicated to sharing travel experiences for the benefit of others. Let's talk about cruising. Specifically, let's talk about earning free cruises if you like to play with Lady Luck. If you enjoy cruising and also enjoy spending time at the casinos, this video is just right for you. Did you know you could get a free cruise and have some of your cruising expenses covered if you gamble? Did you know you don't even have to gamble on a ship to get a free cruise? Listen on and see if you can take advantage of some not-so-advertised perks Cruise Lines offer. Today we want to review a cruising perk that not many cruisers may be familiar with. If you're a cruiser that has enjoyed some time at a cruise ship's casino, you might actually be leaving some money on the table without knowing it, including free cruises. If you've not cruised before but have frequented a land-based casino, you could also be entitled to a free cruise. Listen on and learn more about some benefits not always advertised but can be quite rewarding. You might already be familiar with Cruise Line's passenger loyalty programs. Cruise Line's reward repeat passengers for their continued patronage. The more nights or points a passenger collects, the more benefits they get from the loyalty program. Some of these benefits include priority embarkation and disembarkation, including first priority when getting on tenders to certain ports. Benefits could also include free specialty dining packages, free laundry and even dinner with the ship captain. The names of these loyalty programs vary by cruise line. Here are some of the popular cruise line's loyalty programs. Carnival Cruise Line's VIFP Club, Very Important Fun Person Club. Royal Caribbean's Crown and Anchor Society. Norwegian Cruise Line's Latitudes Rewards. Princess Cruises Captain's Circle. Celebrity Cruises Captain's Club. Holland America Lines Mariner Society. MSC Cruises MSC Voyagers Club. While you might already be familiar with some of these cruise line loyalty programs, did you know that cruise lines have a second loyalty program for those of you who play in their casinos that could get you even more rewards not covered by their passenger loyalty program? Some of the casino program benefits include hundreds of dollars of onboard credit, free alcoholic drinks from the casino bar, comped expenses on the ship, free onboard internet, and, of course, free cruises. The casino players programs are named differently from the passenger loyalty programs. The casino programs of the same popular cruise lines mentioned earlier are as follows. Carnival Cruise Lines Casino Players Club. Royal Caribbean's Casino Royale. Norwegian Cruise Lines Casino at Sea. Princess Cruises Club Casino. Celebrity Cruises Casino VIP Program. Holland America Lines Casino Club. MSC's Voyagers Club Casino Program. So how does one join a Cruise Casino Players Program? Well, first of all, you have to be old enough to gamble. Did you know that the minimum gambling age in most cruises is 18? If you're traveling outside the United States, most cruises going on international waters allow people as young as 18 to gamble. One exception is if your cruise is going from the U.S. mainland to Alaska. The minimum age for gambling on these cruises is usually set at 21. In most cruises, you give your room card when you start playing in the casino. This is then scanned into their casino system and they begin tracking your play activity in the casino. If you're playing on a slot machine, you have to insert your room key card into the machine to begin playing. If you're playing a table game, you normally give your key to the dealer or pit boss when you sit down. Once you are registered on the game you're playing, you're now officially enrolled in the casino program and all your play actions are being tracked. The casino system keeps track of how much money you put out to play and how much money you won or lost during your play. When you play on the slot machines, it's easy for them to tell how much your average bet is and what you put in and cashed out. On the table games, they normally encode your identity on the seat or seats you're playing at. The tables these days have sensors underneath each seat position that can detect what chips and how many you are playing per hand. This all goes into their computer system where the calculations are done to determine how many points you earn for the period you are playing. Once you begin playing and earning points on a specific trip, a couple of things take place. Number 1. You begin earning credits. Number 2. You begin accumulating tier points. 
The credits that you earn while playing on a specific sailing can be used for either play credit, meaning you can use the credits accumulated to gamble, or possibly used as ship credit to offset some of the expenses during your sailing. Note that these credits most likely won't transfer to your next sailing. So it's use it or lose it. You can talk to the casino host of the ship after you've played a bit to ask them about how much credit you've accumulated and how it can be used. If you stick your room key into a slot machine, it may also give you a summary of your credit balance. Treatment of credits will differ from cruise line to cruise line. Each cruise line will have a minimum number of gaming credits required before you get to use them on board. The tier points that you accumulate as you play are used to evaluate your level of play for a specific year. The number of tier points you accumulate in a specific 12-month period determine what tier level and accompanying benefits you receive. Tier points are calculated a few different ways. For table games, it's based on average bet per hand and duration of play or how many hands are played. For slot machines and video poker, it could be based on every $5 or $10 worth of play you do. It's worth noting that it's not necessarily how much money you put in but how long you play and your average bet is. So betting $5,000 and losing it all in a few ambitious hands probably won't get you much in tier credits compared to betting $500 and making it last several hours or days. Always remember to play responsibly. Another important thing to keep in mind if you want to build your tier level is the 12-month evaluation time frame used by the cruise line to measure your play level. This is not a rolling 12 months and may not be a calendar year. For example, Royal Caribbean and Norwegian Cruise Lines use a 12-month period starting April 1st and ending on March 31st of the next year. They will evaluate what tier level you have earned. If you sailed on March 15th and played in the casino, then sailed again on May 1st of that year, your play for the 12 months ending March 31st of that year will be used to calculate your current tier, and the May 1st tier points will start from zero and accumulate again based on your play on that sailing and any other sailings before the end of the following year's month of March. So, let's say you sailed a few times in the 12-month evaluation period and spent quite a bit of time enjoying yourself at the casinos, and you stuck with the same cruise line all throughout. The big question is now what tier level you were able to achieve. Sure, you enjoyed some nice cruising credits from your play for each cruise, but you want to know if you got the big stuff, which are the onboard credit offers, free internet and even free cabins that come with elevated player tier levels. Well, there are a few ways to see how you're doing as you're cruising. First you can stick your room key or player's card into one of the slot machines and it can let you know how many tier points you've earned and even what level you're at. Second, you could go to the casino host and ask them to check your tier score. Third, the next time you cruise, you'll likely find a little welcome note in your stateroom with a casino card indicating your current tier level. Cruise lines like Norwegian also offer you a separate drink card that can be used for the casino bar whenever it's open. Your new sailing will also include other benefits that may come with that new tier level, such as on-board credit and shore excursion discounts. Just keep in mind that if you happen to achieve the next tier level in the middle of a cruise, most benefits of the new tier level won't be applied until your next cruise. Your tier level sticks with you for the current through the next evaluation year. Anytime you cruise the same cruise line in that period, you can get the benefits associated with that tier. So now for the juicy stuff. What exactly do you get for being a loyal and dedicated player on a cruise line? Well, the rewards can be quite lucrative but they differ based on the various cruise lines programs. Each cruise line has its own player tier levels and points requirements. Let's say you made it to Norwegian's Ruby tier, then your cruises can include 400 minutes of free internet, $400 in on-board credits, and the ultra drink package at the casino bar, and maybe a balcony cabin to name just a few benefits. Royal Caribbean has four tier levels in its player's program at Choice, Prime, Signature and Masters. Benefits include credit for its boutique and fine jewelry stores, complimentary drinks, and an annual complimentary cruise. Norwegian Cruise Line has five tier levels, Jade, Pearl, Sapphire, Ruby, and Elite. Just comparing the website, it seems like they may have more perks for the lower tiers, including premium drinks, priority disembarkation, and stateroom amenities. It's going to take too long to compare each cruise line's casino program to each other as their tier levels differ and their benefits also differ, as do the amenities on each ship. The best thing to do is to check the cruise lines you already travel with to see what their programs offer. 
or if you're about to go on a sailing, check how the Casino Player program is structured. We did want to make a special mention of MSC Cruises. As of this recording, MSC Cruises was offering to match the player tier of other cruise lines. So if you already have a decent status from another cruise line's casino program, you can reach out to MSC and request that they match your tier level as close as possible. That way if you then cruise with MSC, you can get the elevated benefits of that matching tier level. It's definitely worth checking out if you plan to cruise with them. They are aggressively growing in the US market, so this is a great perk if you want to try them out. One other note about MSC Cruises reward program when they offer a free room, they really need a free room. They will not only offer you the cabin for free, but they will also cover the taxes and port fees normally charged with a booking. Other cruise lines may offer you the cabin for free, but you are still responsible for paying the taxes and port fees. Now that we've covered how you can get a free cruise and other benefits by playing in the cruise ship casinos, we want to highlight another way you can earn free rooms while gambling on land. A number of cruise lines are partnered with land-based casinos. The land-based casinos offer free cruises as a benefit to their loyal players. If you're in the players program of a land-based casino, check if they have any tie-ups with cruise lines. You might find that you are entitled to a free cruise through them. Caesars Resorts and Casinos, which includes casino brands like Harris, Paris and Las Vegas, the Flamingo, the Link, and of course Caesars has a partnership with Norwegian Cruise Lines. They offer 5% to 30% discounts for Caesars Rewards members to sail with Norwegian Cruise Lines, and up to 20% discounts to sail with the higher-end brands of Norwegian, which are the Oceania and Region 7 Seas Cruises. Caesars also gives an annual free balcony room for Norwegian Cruises to its 7-star tier members. The MGM Group, which includes the MGM Hotel and Casino, the Bellagio, the Aria, New York New York and other brands has a partnership with Royal Caribbean. The MGM Rewards program members may receive discounted cruises. Their top-tier players, the Platinum and Noir members may qualify for complimentary cruises with Royal Caribbean. Note that the land-based casino does not have to be a big chain, or even one that operates in Las Vegas. For example, the Southern California Pechanga Resort Casino offers some of its club rewards members free cruises with Norwegian Cruise Line. If you're part of a land-based casino players program, do check with them if they have any tie-ups with cruise lines. You might already have a free cruise just waiting for you to book it. One final note about booking free cruises through the casino program, you will normally have to call a special number specific to that cruise line's casino program to book your casino reward cruise. You will not be able to make these special discounted or comped bookings online, nor through the normal reservation number, and very important, not through a travel agent. Casino-related cruise ship bookings need to go to the department that specializes in that area and has insight into your gaming rewards. For example, with Norwegian Cruise Line, you have to call their casino at sea department to make these kinds of bookings. For their higher-end lines Oceania and Region 7 Seas, they have another number to manage those bookings. There's a lot of detail around each of these programs, we just covered the surface here. We hope you found this video informative. If you want more videos like this or a deeper look into a casino program, please like, comment and subscribe. We appreciate you. On a final note, we just wanted to emphasize that gambling in a casino is fun, but the odds are generally against your favor. This is a source of revenue for the cruise lines and the odds on a ship are said to be less than land-based casinos. So gamble with care and don't go overboard.